Hello, welcome back ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Master88, I'm Let's Playing To The Moon! Uh, when we left off, we just got given the memory version of the, ooh, a note, of the uh, multicoloured rabbit thing that we found in the lighthouse previously. Uh, we're currently in Johnny Wilde's memory. Uh, we shall prepare the memento. Oh, Christ. Complete the memento. Click the orbs to flip pieces. Ooh, we've got a little puzzle. There we are. The memento can now be activated for traversal. Activate memento. We shall activate... Wait, what about my privacy? We'll try not to violate what we can avoid. But, in most cases, it can't be helped. Oh my god, the room is full of rabbits and one of them's holding an umbrella and there's a platypus on the piano. Turn off visibility and interactivity. It's going to be messy to be seen. Yeah, yeah. Happy! Jeez. Forgot to ask him about all these rabbits. This is creeping me out. Probably should have checked this record for psychopathy. Psychopathy? Psychopathy? It's for being a psychopath. How do you say that? I would say psychopathy. But would other people say psychopathy? Who knows? And or cares. Oh, he stopped playing. What the? Did he hear me? That's impossible. It's probably just a part of this memory. Then I stand by my point. Anyway, quit, quit blabbering and find a memento here to hop from. Okay, we have control back. Interact with objects to establish five memory links. It's a multicolored paper rabbit. Well, aren't you special? Having two colors when all your siblings look like they drowned in bleach. What's that? You think they're really creamy? Ha! <laughs> well, yes, I agree. Uh, what about the platypus? Or an umbrella? Ooh. The umbrella's a memento. Requires memory links to shoot. Right. The clock is moving, but soundless. Do we have any notes that we haven't read? The moon objective. The moon in Johnny's memory is full. I want that platypus. Get me to the platypus. Get me to the platypus. I'd like to pick up the platypus. Oh yeah, down there. Let's go upstairs then. Really don't know what I'm doing here. The perils of blind let's playing. There's another moving but soundless clock. Ooh, what have we got here? A bag, an old and patched up backpack. What is this? A million years old? I guess we'll find out. The Emperor's New Clothes by Hans Christian Andersen. Medical journals, anything in the bathroom? 
No, we can't do it. There's a bottle up here. A glass bottle of pickled olives. Pah! I hate this stuff. What's the hate? It's pickled olive. Exactly! He hates pickled olive. Right, one more thing. Don't. If we have to explain our presence to him at every memory, I'd go crazy. Don't tempt me! No, just no! Oh, Rosaline's no fun. Fresh wild flowers. Oh, excuse me for yawning. Memory links established. What do we do? Ah, right, so we find the memento. That's where we travel from. In order to travel from it, we have to find the memory links. And we shoot them at the memento. What the fuck was that? What? That's it. I'm doing the breaking from now on. Oh. Right, we prepare the memento. Run the funky computer program. Reminder, the corner orb can flip the entire diagonal. Right. Ah, uh, I see. So it's kind of a little puzzle thing going on now. We've got it. We've got it. Thank God I've been playing a lot of Layton recently and my aptitude for doing puzzles of that ilk is uh, currently quite high. You can now travel with the memento. We shall. He's always got that little platypus with him. It's Perry! Perry the platypus! It may or may not be Perry the platypus. I don't know. When it comes to rain, through is better than onto. I don't mind it regardless. Seems like these memory hops only span a short period of time. We need to find a leaping memento or it's going to take forever. Meh, just enjoy the scenery. An old stuffed toy platypus. Honestly, I just don't think this animal has the right to exist. Can I just point out, there is no such thing as an animal having a right to exist. They, they all have equal and no right to exist. All animals, human beings might consider themselves top of some sort of imaginary hierarchical pile because human beings love to establish anything in terms of a hierarchy because they're stupid like that. But we're just not, and... Approximately four billion years of evolution have led to a platypus existing. Has just as much right to do so as we have of existing, so let's not get into debates like this. People are like, oh, platypus is weird, why does it exist? Well, it exists because it exists, because it was a successful experiment in evolution that happened by chance, so but leave it. Leave it. Let natural selection make those sorts of decisions. <coughs> the world's not big enough for the two of you. Here's Perry. Perry the platypus. I don't know why I've got that in my head. Ah, we need three bars of memory links to proceed. Where do we go? We're missing something here. Ah, the plaque. 
course, now we can go in the room. Yeah, just the sound. Sound, there's no music. There's no music. It's just the gentle fall of rain. It's finished, River. Like you, I'll be able to watch over her every day. <laughs> she won't be alone anymore. I might never understand why, but I stay true to your wish. I'm sure Anya is grateful to you too. When I'm gone, Who is going to watch over us? Who are you? My name is Eva. I was just passing by. Was she your wife? Yes. Her name was River. That's a special name. It didn't need to happen. Hmm? She... She didn't need to do it. But she... You wouldn't understand. I don't even understand. a touching little scene. We have received a note about Anya. Someone John and River cared for. Let's give the game a quick save. Climb the lighthouse and see what's going on up here. About time you got here! I always thought you fell off the cliff! What were you doing? Enjoying the scenery. What else? Any luck here? Big luck! Huge! Dinosauric! Huh? This place looks pretty empty. It's a lighthouse. What do you expect? Anyway, I'll catch you on the other side. Have fun re-breaking the barrier for yourself. Right, so we are now in control of Eva. We have discovered our memento. We need two more thingy-madoodles. Ah, the broken lighthouse lamp. Ooh. Hello. And another one from that. He just kind of turned up. Okay. Let's break this memento thingy ball thing. There we go, it shattered. Prepare the memento. It's a platypus. Ideal shows the minimum number of moves the memento can be completed in. Do not expect Master 88 to actually achieve this. Although apparently on this occasion he did. Let's travel. Have Platypus will travel. What's going on here? Just enough. Oh, 
After we pay for your operation, we'll have just enough left for it. So don't you worry. White lie. That's what you call it, right? No, I'm sure we can just stop it. I don't like it when you lie. I calculated our finances. I know how it's like. Why do you try to convince me against my will? We need the money for our medical bills, River! I understand that Anya means a lot to you, but this... this is just too much! I mean, she... she isn't even... Do you know what makes me happy, Johnny? What? Do you? Well, I do. I just hope you can help me with it. River. When the papers for my treatments get here, I will not sign them. What you do with our money is up to you. But if you would grant my wish, I want you to use it to finish building that house. And then, for every day that you live there, I want you to watch over her. Visit her. Speak to her. Comfort her. I don't want her to be alone anymore. And what about you? Happy. I'll be happy. Johnny? Yes? I made this. Tell me what it is. What? Just tell me what it is. It's a rabbit. Like all the others you made. What else? Um, it's made of paper? What else? Its body is yellow and the rest is blue. Good. What else? Look, River. I wrote a song. It's for you. Okay. Well, would you like to hear it? Yes. You didn't have to bring the piano in here for this. I can hear you just fine with the door open. It's called For River. Oh, why so cliche? It's just a placeholder. Who is this Anya they were talking about? If she's so important, shouldn't we have seen her in these late memories? I guess you didn't keep that promise after all. Unless... Unless what? Never mind. Hey, that's the same song the kids were playing earlier, huh? I guess he taught them. You know what? I'm too manly for this. I'm heading on. Sod all this incredibly poignant emotional stuff. Let's completely ignore the part 
where a woman is sacrificing her life in terms of not taking her medical treatment so that another human being, presumably, if we remove it from the context that it's a game, if this were a real life occurrence, so that another human being could be looked after and comforted for the rest of their life. If we let's just ignore that, right? Let's ignore that everyone who's got testicles. Okay? Let's just say that. What a load of sexist wank. <sighs> Dr. Watts is annoying. I already got my memory links. You want to hitch a quick ride or look around yourself? I think we shall stay and explore. Go on ahead, I'll catch up with you. Don't you miss the days when memory audio to MP8 conversion was legal? I think I bought home over 2,000 songs during my first year on this job. <laughs> Actually, that's pretty funny. Good old Watts. Oh, she's reading the Emperor's New Clothes. We got another note about the paper rabbit. What River gave to John. And we got a note on Full River. A song Johnny wrote for his deceased wife. Its title is A Placeholder. It wouldn't have been if it weren't for the fact that she said it was cliché. Ah, there's the memento. What do we need? Three more artifacts. Ah, here they are moving the piano. There's more pickled olives. Someone really likes these. They sure do. Some dough. I'm telling you, there's just no way. What if we take it apart? Look at us, John. We aren't exactly at the right page of piano moving. You know what? If this means that much to you, I'll pay for the professionals to do this. I can't help saving that house for you, so this is the least I can do. Well, that's nice. It seems another friend helped out. Let's get to the next memory and then I think we'll call it a video. Prepare the memento. It's flowers, right? How can we do this? Hmm. Ideal of four moves, eh? Probably going to take me more than four moves. Well, that is annoying. I've buggered this one up, haven't I? That's kind of what it was to start with. Ah, I bet that's what we've got to do to get it down here. Is there a restart? No. That's annoying. There we are. 
Good old flippy block puzzles. Well, ladies and gents, I do apologise if uh, this commentary is not as amusing as it could be. I say I apologise, I'm not sure how much I can apologise because this game has drawn me in and it's just... The simple fact of the matter is I'm enjoying it. And when I'm enjoying something, uh, I don't find an awful lot to make fun of in it. I mean, really, this is just an incredibly charming game. And uh, I would recommend you get hold of it. I would recommend you get hold of this game. And give it a playthrough yourself. To see how it makes you feel. Because it is a wonderful game. I'm enjoying it thoroughly. I look forward to seeing what happens next. I look forward taking it through and seeing what happens at the end I cannot wait and I hope that removing the fact that I'm not going to be trying my best to be funny during it you can appreciate coming along on this wonderful journey with me anyway thank you for watching hopefully the next video will contain more things that can be made fun of but if not whatever I'm enjoying it until then guys peace and love